What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Lex Express checking in with my thoughts on Gran Turismo. I am a fan of but we're here to talk about the movie that just came out directed by Neil Blomkamp who did Elysium and District 9, two movies which I very like. He's he's artistic in his own way. He knows how to really grab that like a uh, dramatic tone and turn up the intensity is what I see from his better films. So in Gran Turismo, I expected something along those lines, right? Applying that uh, heartfelt element, but to a, a racing story. And that's exactly what we get with this movie. Yes, it's not the best plot ever, It's but it's based on true events. Loosely based on true events, might I add. But the main character here, his name is John Mortenborough. He is a real racer in real life who actually won a Gran Turismo tournament and became a real life racer. He went from gaming to racing, and that's the, 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 the thick of the story here. The heart of the story lies within that element. And then you also have uh, starring in the cast, you got David Harbour, better known for his role uh, as, a, as the police officer in Stranger Things. I really like him. Uh, we got Orlando Bloom, who's just playing a marketing genius, pretty much, like a guy that comes up with the idea. And then you also got Jamon Hansu, who's a great supporting actor here, and a few other uh, cast members that um, I just wanted to highlight these few because they're really the ones that carry the movie along with Archie Matikway. I pretty much botched his name, I feel like. He's from the show C with Jason Momoa, which I absolutely loved. So I already knew that the movie was in pretty good hands, right? Good cast, good director. Um, my biggest fear was that there just probably wasn't enough substance to carry the film through. But from the moment you sit down and they have very minimal story building elements, like they do have character development, but they focus more on the racing. That's what we signed up for. That's what we wanted, especially if you're a fan of racing games like Gran Turismo and you know, these games are not just a video game, and that's really what the message of this movie is. These simulators are to be taken serious, especially in 2023, with all the advanced technology that has been put into the game. And I, I saw the reports online. A lot of people were bashing the movie, saying it was a big marketing fest and that it's for people to buy the game. And, that, you know, they're selling you on the idea that the game is legit. But that's not, that's like the toxic, negative way to look at it. It's an underdog story being told through a racer's point of view and a gamer's point of view at the same time. All right. It's rated 98% from the audience with over a thousand verified ratings. That means that a lot of people walked away watching this movie super happy with the results. And then you got the critics with 176 reviews in sitting at 61%. At least it's not rotten. It's still it's not fresh, right? But it's not rotten. This movie clocks in at about 2 hours and 15 minutes and man, it really just relies on the action. I love the the cinematics, which I got to give props to Neil here. The team that he assembled for this movie really did a phenomenal job allowing you to feel the racing elements uh, along with this just beautiful style look at this just going through different uh you know roads and angles and that's how the movies played right it the races are meant to be felt in the moment and i saw it in 4dx which is another another experience on its own man we did see it in 4dx we saw it in a theater that held up to 161 people and it was sold out sold out and this is not just on cinema day by the way because it was cinema day on sunday where every theater was celebrating the the cinema this is just on a weekly basis 4dx is the best way to watch modern day movies especially action movies specifically action movies i would say another movie that i saw in 4dx was a haunted mansion which i will talk about that one in a future review more movie reviews on the way subscribe to the channel if you haven't already but back to Gran Turismo, again, a movie that could have been so bad, so awful, built off of almost nothing, really became a racer's experience. Is it like Top Gun Maverick that tries to, you know, be super realistic and unbelievably 
uh, heart-pounding, sweaty realism. No, the movie does suspend belief at some times. I'm sure real racers look at it and they understand what they were trying to tell with its story. But there's a couple things that even I looked at it and I'm like, uh, I don't know about that. So it's not a perfect movie. I'm not here to tell you it's a perfect movie. I'm here to tell you that if you like Gran Turismo, if you like racing games in general, if you like the racing genre, this is a movie that you're going to walk away enjoying because it's just it's so likable. It's so easy. Everyone on board was game and they did a good job. I think bringing in David Harbour, uh, I, I hope that's how you say his name. I, I really yeah, Harbour. Um, he really sealed the deal along with Archie in the star role here and it, it has you know a, a couple villains people that you don't really like and they make them the, the easy bad guys to dislike and it, it has a good cheesy story to it that it, it's it's fun knowing that someone actually lived through this in some capacity someone went through the dangers of sitting at home playing games being great at it and then turning that into real life because that's, as gamers, that's like the one thing that everyone that doesn't play games and doesn't get it consistently says, oh, you're wasting your time, you're wasting your time. And as gamers, we just are so passionate and we enjoy, you know, that level of connecting with any uh, product, whether it be racing, shooting, or or a sense of adventure. Um, but this game is is so real that they're able to you know, translate into getting a, dr a real life driver out of it. So this movie really executed that notion and that idea that it is possible and it made you feel it because this again is a real story that happened to a real person and they dramatized it. They dramatized it, no doubt about it, but Fast and Furious used to be a racing movie and it became a high action packed movie, which I still enjoy to this day, but this movie just stuck to racing. They, they, they had a little bit of family elements, which I feel like they could have done better. The family stuff was a little wishy washy here and there, but I like that they focus on the racing, on the racing team, on the racing elements, on the story within the tracks, on the difficulties within the tracks and the drama that comes from racing within the tracks that's what i wanted out of the movie and i got it so i'm walking away from gran turismo giving it a nine out of ten now i'm not comparing it to the godfather the cream the cream the 10 out of tens the dark knight or any of those movies i'm comparing it for a racing movie based on what it's based on and what i wanted out of it and i got just that it was exactly what the doctor ordered, and I hope you guys give this movie a chance. If you could see it in Regal 4DX, man, that is just a mind-blowing experience. Again, it's the best way to watch this movie, in my opinion. The seats move around. It shoots air by your ear, by your feet. You also have, like, some little strobe lighting. Not too much to bother you, but you have some smoke. You have fans blowing at you. You have sense of smell when it's raining in the movie. There's this one scene in the movie, I, I believe. Yeah, it's this one right here where it's at night. It's raining. It starts to get foggy. It gets real dark and the atmosphere in the theater completely changed. And one of my favorite parts about watching this movie in 4DX was how packed the theater was and the reaction that everyone had, whether it was when he lost, when there was a crazy crash, when there was a victory, just the big moments of the movie were felt, everyone reacted, and it sounded like a lot of people walked away excited about enjoying the movie. My wife and I couldn't be happier. So with that being said, guys, check out Gran Turismo. Go check it out on $5 Tuesday for all I care. It doesn't matter how you see it, but check it out. I highly, highly recommend it. Again, if you're already playing the game, and you needed to hear someone push you to go see the new movie. Well, here I am. All right. I'll see y'all real soon with more movie reviews. Thank you for tuning in. Let's go.
be the best in the game, invest in my name, check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain, I ingest, I retain, assess and I change, possessed by the thought, I'll be free one day from society's restraints, money, clout and fame, mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate, have to play the game, have to make a name, all our insecurities are on this display. This is war with the enemy, think that it was meant to be, living in a time.